Today on Rachel Red. This is seeming to be a little more difficult than I thought it might be. Can these products really make your days merry and bright? Don't deck your halls without our Human Lab Holiday Edition. It looks like the thickness is perfect. Make your home more secure for the holidays with safety tips from a former Secret Service special agent. Your window is partially open. So all I have to do is this. Oh, there's my gift. Plus a peppermint twist on a holiday cookie. And these mighty meatballs are our idea of sensational stocking stuffers. There, it looks beautiful. Of course, it is that time of year. It's holiday time, so everybody's dealing with decorating and cooking and wrapping up the packages. So today we're going to test drive some products in a Human Lab Holiday Edition. Here's how we're going to roll. We're going to give three viewers who are kind of self-proclaimed que queens of Christmas, we're going to give them each a different product to test them out for us because they're all holiday related. Check this out. <laughs> Nice and tight, nice lines. I'm Marlene and I'm from West Trenton, New Jersey and I love to wrap presents. I like to go with a theme and completely go crazy with bows and ribbons and anything that'll make the wrapping look different. This year's theme is Candyland. I have candy and popcorn balls and everything to make it look like Santa's Candyland. This is made out of a Twizzler individually wrapped, so keep it clean. And it's glued onto the box for their initial, so I don't have to put a name tag on it. People tell me I have a little too much time on my hands, and maybe I drink too much wine. <laughs> to make the package look good, it's not just the wrapping of the box. It's a bow or a homemade ribbon. Sometimes it can be time-consuming, and I get stiff. <laughs> if there was a product out there that could help me wrap my presents quicker or prettier, I'd be game for that. They say you can't reinvent the wheel, but everybody's got great minds. Today, Marlene's trying out the Bowdabra Bow Maker. It promises to create professional-looking bows in just minutes. Bow making easy as one, two, three. Should be very interesting. I think it's pre-measured. It helps you with the gizmo that's here. So I think it uh, might work out nice. Ta-da! My name is Taryn. I'm from Bloomfield, New Jersey, and I am the Christmas Queen. I love everything Christmas. I love decorating. I love celebrating, getting the tree, wrapping, wearing decorations as well. I have a bunch more shirts, costumes, hats, necklaces. I'm excited to decorate this year because we just moved from a small apartment to a great big house. So I'm very excited to decorate the house as best I can. I love hanging Christmas lights. I usually do a simpler uh, routine because Christmas lights can be tough to manage when you're going up high. Um, it does look better when you have them on the house, which is something I've always wanted. I've just never been able to. It's uh, scary once you get on the ladder and it's a little hard to figure out. No way. If there was something out there that I could use to help me hang Christmas lights outside so that I don't have to get on a ladder, that would be perfect. Taryn is testing out the No Ladder Pro, which claims to be a safe and effective way to hang your holiday lights without using a ladder. I have never seen anything like this before. I hope that it's nice and easy, because I do not get on the ladder. <coughs> oh, what a mess. Who's going to clean all this up? I'm Jessica. I'm from Marlton, New Jersey, and I absolutely love baking Christmas cookies. I make about a thousand cookies during the Christmas season. Really anything, name it, I pretty much bake it. Making Christmas cookies is not the cleanest process there is. I mean, it's just a complete mess. 
I have a son, his name is Will, and he's six years old. Will likes to help with the dough. He loves to do the sprinkles. Kind of just throws them everywhere, and I end up finding them like a year later. The thickness is, can be a, definitely a challenge, so I will get a roller out and start measuring things, but the hardest part is, you know, rolling the dough flat, and then the flour just gets absolutely everywhere. If there was something out there that could keep my kitchen cleaner during the baking process, I would be thrilled. Jessica's getting the dough easy. It says it'll prepare your favorite dough recipes fast, easy, and without a floury mess. This is how we roll, no fuss. I think it's supposed to keep the flour from getting everywhere when you're rolling out the dough. Well, we'll have to give it a try and just see if it works. is a dear old friend of ours, lifestyle expert, Yvette Rios is in the Yay! house. Yay! Yay! All right, yes. I, I put up nine different trees. I wrapped uh, literally I hundreds and hundreds of gifts. Ultimate Christmas queen yes. right here, I, I gotta put say. Up nine yes. separate trees. So I'm interested in these things. Um, yeah. The one that I don't get at all is the bow thing. Okay, so basically if you don't have a crafty husband, which I don't, yeah. something like this is really great because all you need is a stunt finger and that's what this does. It oh, allows you, you see what I mean? It's so that someone, person. You know, they would normally put their finger on, exactly. on the string to hold this, you get right. Exactly, so all you do is weave the ribbon in and out and this holds it so you can make a ginormous ribbon that you can put on the top of the tree or decorate around the house or you could do something really small. This is called the Bodabra. Don't you love that name? The Bodabra. The Bodabra. Bodabra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the No Ladder Pro. This thing is awesome because it's telescoping, which I just learned is like a thing. Uh -huh. So it gets super long. Oh, Check this I have out. A thing like this helps me change lights in high places exactly. at home. Exactly. Like unscrewed light bulbs that are way up high. Totally. So you put this clip in there. So you've got to get the clips, but it's an awesome, awesome product because then you put the lights on and you can literally hang lights from your gutters without ever getting on a ladder. Because listen to this. I know. You guys. This could have saved Clark Griswold. You know what I mean? <laughs> it totally could because this is crazy. 15,000 people a year get injured hanging holiday decorations. Including Clark Including Clark Griswold. Griswold. And 34% is for people falling off of ladders putting lights on their house. So don't be a statistic. Don't fall while you're decking your halls. I love that. I, I really hope that one worked out well. Now this one, the year that my family wanted to spend the least amount of time with me is the year that I made about a thousand Christmas cookies. <laughs> my sister is the baker in the family, so I have no use for this because I know Maria Batar and she will be making my Christmas cookies. Very, very nice. Um, but explain this. Yes. So if you don't have a Maria, the right. idea here is that you put your dough in between here so you don't need the flour so it's not going to stick to your counter, which is actually a great thing because when you add oh, the flour... Oh, this is... I'm like, but wait, how does that mat keep the flour? So it's just zero flour to exactly. roll out the dough. Exactly. Gotcha. It's genius because then it doesn't dry out your cookie. You've got the perfect recipe. You don't add more flour. It's, it's really, really cool. Silicone, very, very neat. This actually might be a gift under the tree for oh, Maria. Don't look, Maria. Close your eyes. I do love eating things. I don't love baking, but this is fun. Um, let's see how our viewers fared with each of these products. Check this out. Ooh. This must be the magic ingredient. We're going to make a scrunchie bow. Number one, cut a 24-inch piece of bow tie, fold it in half, lay it into the bedabra. We take our ribbon, scrunch it into the bodabra. And we take another piece and we loop that. The ribbon piles up like an accordion. And then we cut the end, grasp the loose ends of the bow tie, and feed it through the loop. Pull the bow tie tightly while the bow is still in the bodabra. There you go. To secure, tie a knot. We just take these loops, we fluff them up. Wire ribbon works really nice for something like this. And there's a perfect little bow. I think it's pretty good. It makes it look more professional. For someone who is bow challenged, I think this would be a great product for them. It's like having an extra hand. Here we go. Step one, insert an Aletto Pro clip into cavity of clip holder. Insert lighting string into U-shaped area of no ladder pro clip. This is seeming to be a little more difficult than I thought it might be. 
Okay. Now we're going to extend the pole. We lock by holding inner pole and twisting outer pole counterclockwise until tightened. There we go. Pull, no letter pro, clip onto gutter, and release. That was pretty easy. Next one up. Okay. about using the No Ladder Pro was attaching the lights to the clips. I liked how once you finally got it up and brought it up to the gutter, it clipped right on. I will definitely be using this again, but I don't have to get on the ladder. All right, so we're gonna give this a try. So step one, place and fold the mat. Step two, roll the dough. And we're gonna flatten it to a uniform thickness. Remove rollers. Add parchment paper to the right side. Close mat and flip over. Stamp cookies. It looks like the thickness is perfect. The instructions could be a little bit better. I really like the fact you don't need to use the flour. For someone like me who likes to keep it nice and clean, it's great. Another thing that's really cool is that you can measure the size of your cookies. Because there's like a measuring tape over here. I can have the perfect shaped cookies and I don't have to have the huge mess. It's helpful. It works. So Marlene, Karen, and Jessica are here. And I was saying, did we like fake that? She's like, no, I literally I use a measuring tape, especially when she's making her biscotti. I am incredible. <laughs> It's in my baking supplies. <laughs> so let's go right down the line. What do we think of the, what is it called? The bow, 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 flare with it. I kept calling it bodacious. <laughs> the bodacious, <laughs> she calls it. By mistake, by Girl, mistake. I want to go to your guys' <laughs> party. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. Does she seem like a whole hoot load of fun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us what you, your thoughts are about this. Uh, the thoughts on this at first, I thought it was a bagel cutter. Okay. I wasn't it sure. does look like a bagel yeah. cutter. I totally thought the same thing. You have to push it down. It's it's great if you don't know how to make bows. Right. But anybody who has a basic crafting ability, they could whip up a bow in two seconds. This takes a little bit more time because you have to twist and turn it. And I think they're, if they have a good idea with this wire for finishing off and pulling it and tying it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's faster. But, but it's something that you wouldn't need. I would not need. You, oh, you have need. an advanced bow degree. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> She's a master of bow making. Right. Yvette, what, what are your thoughts on it? Well, I mean, I think this is for someone who has to either do like a lot of bows or a super big, intricate one. But if you're doing just a simple bunny ear bow, it's probably not very necessary. I'm sticking with the simple bows. Maybe I'll tie a candy cane in if I really <laughs> like <laughs> that's a maybe a hard maybe <laughs> now this one everybody in the audience all of us were just like oh I could hear the ooze. This is such a cool thing. Tell us what you thought. So it's called the No Ladder Pro, and you don't have to use a ladder to hang the lights on the gutter. It takes the fear out of the process, which was great. Did it take any of the time out? Like it looked it was kind quick. of pretty It was easy. quick. It pretty definitely quick. was. Definitely oh. was. Um, it had a little quirks trying to get the wires to attach to the clips, but once you got it, it worked great. So once you get the hang easy. of it, it goes even faster. Yes. I don't know. Great. I think that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> So, and can you use that to take the lights down too, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Of course. What works going up, works coming down. Well, <laughs> you, Yvette, you like this too, right? I think it's awesome. And I think if you've got a house where you're decorating like staircases or like moldings that are high up, you can use it indoors too, which I think is great. Oh, I didn't even think about yeah. that. But of course, duh, what works outside <laughs> would also work right inside. Now. Hello. <laughs> so now this dough thing, I'm a little bit fascinated with. Yeah. It's a little, in it's interesting. It's interesting. It is. It, does the flourless thing really work? It, it did. It actually worked. So I huh. didn't have to use it. Well, at first I thought I had to use flour. But then I figured it first out. First she flowered the I mat. I did flour like, the mat. And then the I was purpose? like, yeah, the purpose is no flour. <laughs> so yeah, it worked. It kept it nice and clean. Um, the flour and then the measuring, because I am a perfectionist. So yes, the measuring was great. Hmm. Um, but I would, I mean, the only... Any drawbacks? I think, um, well... What, it's it's one more thing for me to store in my kitchen. That's so true. I have yes, a million right. things. Right. And the only other thing was the directions were a little unclear, so I was kind of 
a little confused. It, it wasn't but the easiest. But we figured right. it out. What do you think about this? So I think this is great. Again, it's another thing to have in the kitchen, but I do love the idea that you're controlling how much flour. I think you could use it for pizza dough, right? Couldn't you? I was I thinking think if I use this, I would use it for pizza dough. Okay. Um, I do make a lot of pie crust. I do make a lot of dough. I don't make an enormous amount of cookies, but I do make a lot of pie doughs, and I do, obviously, I throw a lot of pizzas. So I think that there is a use for that. So you would give it a shot? I would. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I love that. I'm going to her house. I'm going to her house. Thank you, of course, to Yvette and to all of our lovely ladies, our, our delicious viewers. Up next, more fun with cookies. We're going to be in the kitchen with my friend, Chris. My nickname for him is The Cookie Man. Eaton has arrived. I just got off the bus from Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a lot of baggage. After what did it be? <laughs> DIYs that almost anyone can do. Don't you have my queer eye babes? You should probably get a ladder unless you're You're standing next to one. Oh, look at that. And we're lighting up your Hanukkah celebration. Don't look, don't look at it. I got you lost. Two seconds. Two second roll, we're good. With delicious crowd pleasers. It is just delicious.